Why, hello everybody, it's John from the Gamer Duo here. Today is a special day, again, nonetheless, as we are going to be continuing our Pokemon Black version Nuzlocke. And this is episode 31, I think? And wow, okay, we're towards the end of March. I can't even believe it. It's March 30th, guys. March 30th. And we all know what that means. One more day until Pokemon Challenge version is released. I think it'll be done. I still have this Mega Evolution thing that's been problematic for the last month. So hopefully that gets done. But everything else is done and I cannot wait to share it with you all. Can't wait for some people to let's play it, hopefully, and Wow. Yeah, I would never thought I would never thought of I would have completed this game. Honestly. Um But yeah. Let's get into this. Let's do a team recap real quick. Um, and as part of this team recap, I know where we are in the game. So I feel confident enough to switch um, Callum into the front of the party. I know it seems weird to put my levels to the lowest level in front of the party. But, okay. A, these changes are like, are like 28 or something. But anyway, we got, we got Callum. He's our ground rock type ride on. Hasty nature. We found on Route 8. With Rock Blast Belly Drum Attack Order and Hyper Fang. Like, let me tell you, that moveset is litty. Um, the only thing that I'm worried about with Callum is that he's got some quad weaknesses that we got to figure out. Uh, belly Drum is going to be nice if you are more defensive, but you're not really as defensive as a, or especially defensive. You are a physical defensive one. So if we go on it, we if we go out on a physical um, attacker, we're we're set up. We are fine, but. You are very good, I think, Callum. Callum will have some opportunity to shine in this episode. We need to get him up to the rest of the squad. Speaking of the rest of the squad, we have Scarlet, our normal flying type star after holding the sky plate with strength, hyper fang, fly, and sharpen. Then we have Braxton. Ow! Our Meganium. I just hit my elbow on the side in the corner of my computer. That did not feel good. But with the Miracle Seed. Level 44, Sleep Powder, Attack Order, Bullet Seed, and Crush Claw. Then, we have Arceus, the God, level 43, Ghost Type, with the Spooky Plate, with Facade, Fake Out, Shadow Punch, and Ice Beam, or Bubble Beam. I wish it was Ice Beam. Then, we have Shirley, the Naughty Nature Toxicroak, holding the Amity Coin, because she wants to get rich quick. Where are my UW stuff today? Um, yeah. With low kick, rock throw, cross boys, and high jump kick. Let's get it on. Then, we have Szechuan, the impish nature type Flosion, holding the leftovers with the moves Eruption, Blaze Kick, Surf, and Fusion Flare. And last, that is last. Okay. I was going to say, and last but not least, but that's all six of them. So, anyway, I do feel like these trainers have like level 28s or something. And we already... You are joking! Ah! This was an encounter here. Wait. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> we could have had this. And we had a mass roll at this point. Because you're not a roaming legendary. I really want to catch it, but you're not a roaming legendary. You're a wild battle. But how much experience are you willing to give me? Retaliate? Yeah, that's doing nothing. I'm sorry. How much experience are you willing to give me? Probably not very much. You're level 19. 503, yeah. Not not really enough to care. There are two things I've learned about quicksand. If you try and walk through the middle, you fall. If you try and run through it, you'll fall. That didn't help. It said that a long time ago, these ruins were the heart of civilians for people. Just being here feels me with a magical power. These psychics, though. Um, I think they're like level 24 or something. Or No, they're probably like 27. Gloom. Wow, that's a terrible start. 26. Okay, yeah. I mean, Callum. Callum would have it if it's not if it wasn't a like terrible Pokemon for Callum to match up against. But, you know what? This helps. I mean, significantly. Because I want to get the whole squad to 44. Right? That's the goal, obviously. Not in today's episode. But at some point, I want the squad to all be 44. 
Now you see the level limit is 49, so that was something. Um, so yeah, the squad I want to get up there, right, to 44, because we have a couple things before we can get to the opalu. What? That is not fair. I was flying. How in the world does sleep powder affect you when you're flying? That is bull. That is complete and utter bull. Wake up and just kill this thing. Probably would have killed it anyway. I probably shouldn't. I'm not even worried. 147. 5 to 96 for Cal Bob. Oh my gosh! You literally had... I was so excited. I'm like, we can train Callum in this episode. And this girl has a Gloom and a Star You. Both of Callum's quad weaknesses. I literally, my whole like thing about Callum and not being as good as I want him to be is these exact is that exact reason. His quad weaknesses really, really destroy him. So, that sucks. We tried to train Callum up. Luckily, you know, we wouldn't have... Oh, that would have been like a 300 experience. That's fine. Makes me feel a little bit better, but still. <gasps> Whoa! Yes! More! More, 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 more. We already have an Arcan. We already got the plume fossil, fo plume fossil, so let's get the cover fossil. Because that's not randomized, so we would. I don't need another Arcan. There, sand. The sand cleared the way so you can now proceed. We just go down here, right? Oh, crap. That is way closer than I might have thought. Gets just told us once again. We should test how much power you have. Well, well let's see if you can defeat Team Plasma. This doesn't count as a new encounter. Although, you know, I'd love a Larvitar. It doesn't count as a new encounter. Because we've already encountered over here before. Because this is still technically Relic Castle. So Team Plasma is trying to test us once again, even though legitimately we just fought like everybody. We heard that your battle for your Pokemon can fight hard. So it's more Team Plasma. Woohoo! We love fighting Team Plasma. Actually, I'm not lying. We, I do. Electrode. Exactly why we like fighting Team Plasma. Electrode is just fine for Callum. And Callum can just, well, actually, it's, it's not really the greatest for Callum to be fighting, but it's better than what we could ever think of. I'm going to do it. Let's see. Belly drum. I... Oh, God. Why? Does everything have to have Super Fang? That's actually frustrating. Fine. Oh, crap. Don't do damage. Don't do that much damage. We have to go into somebody that can take a bide. Or, like, okay, Arceus, actually, I don't think it takes account. Um, I can't believe Belly. Oh, I mean, Belly Drum wouldn't have mattered anyway. And then, Fake Out, because that's going to do a little damage. Oh, gosh. Oh, wait. Ha 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 We took down the bide. Because you stop biting now. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I feel smart right now. That makes me feel a lot smarter. Ninjas. Oh, yeah. We are switching. Hey, Callum. How would you like getting experience? I think you like it a lot. Because you're going to get a lot. Actually, not really. Because it's a Ninjas. It doesn't give you a lot of experience. But we know that it's got bug type moves and stuff that Callum can just say, like, goodbye to. So before we risk anything, I'm just going to use my fresh water because we're about... Because that'll get us at 118. I don't... I mean, a lot of things have had super fang for us, which is kind of frustrating. Drill pack. Yeah, look at that. Look at how much damage this is. Like, I'm going to guess like five. Oh, well, that did more than five. Speed boost. We were slower anyway. I don't care. Now, if it was like something else, that'd be kind of scary. Yeah. See, this is where I might have thought about belly drum, but... I don't really need it. So, Rock Blast, let's see if it's just quad effective, so it should kill. Yeah, O code, bye! How much? 2170 or 67. Let's go! And Magnezone. 
Well, again, I kind of wish we had a ground type attack. We got it. We're gonna have to switch. We're gonna have to switch on this, and Shirley's gonna come in. The only reason I'm switching on this is we don't have a ground type attack. That's what Callum needs. If Callum had like magnitude right now, that would be the stuff, dog. That would be the stuff. Like, that's what we need. We need Callum to get like earth earthquake. That's a move that I want. Um, low kick mitigates a risk, so we're gonna go like that. I think it's still like 120 base power, because Magnezone is not light at all. Oh, you got sturdy, so it didn't really matter. Oh, that's not doing. That's not doing the deal. Well, Magnezone's gonna give a lot of experience off, so that's good. That's like a thousand for each of them, like 1261 for Shirley, 1538. Yeah. I wish that if Callum would have had a ground type attack, that would have been the perfect and ideal scenario for Callum, but he doesn't. Oh, wait. Oh, well. Snow Rush. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Whoa! These levels are up there. Kind of wish that you were an encounter so that I could get this thing. Skull Bash! Ha <laughs> ha! You just lower your head, I think, right? The first turn? Yeah. So Rock Blast should kill. Should do its thing. Well, it might not kill if it hits twice. No, it hits three times. We're good. And Snow Runs down. That's not going to be very much experience, though. 446. Yeah, not worth it. Um, let's get a X Special Defense. That's not going to do much. Again, stuff we can't use. Wait, Zinc. Isn't that that's special defense? We don't really have. Oh yeah, we do. I'll give this special defense one to Braxton. Hyper potion. Might as well use it on Callum. I mean, no point in giving it to anybody else at this point. We cannot move, my gosh. What, there's snow right in here, and that's probably it. To be honest, that's probably it. And it's faster than Callum, too, which sucks, because that means we actually have to kill it. Hey, at least it's using Skull Bash, though. I'll take it. If it's using Skull Bash, that's pretty easy for us to kind of get away from, which is just fine. Because Rock Blast, again, it's three hits, and as long as we get three hits, we're fine. And that's, like, a good... Because usually it'll get three. It's like the highest chance to get three, and then the second highest to get two. Okay, some more. You, to please my Pokemon. Lose! No, we're not losing the lock to a team Plasma Grunt. Unless you have, like, legendaries across the board, which, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's be real. Sceptile. Oh my god, stop having grass types. Please and thank you. Well, at least we have Star Raptor. At least we have Scarlet, because Scarlet can come in, come through. Actually, yeah, Scarlet's the one that needs to level up, so let's let's put Scarlet out there. If Scarlet didn't need to level up, I would have I think I would have trusted Typhlosion a little bit more. Um, and there's no Mega Evolutions, but especially because Intimidate's not gonna really affect anything. Vine Whip, ha, <laughs> nothing. I'm ready for like the yeah the very few damage that's that actually gonna do. Fly is I don't think it's gonna actually no we have the sky plate sky plate boosted fly should kill sky plate boosted fly should kill a septile yeah okay good that it did and six sixty one for scarlet twelve four eighty why did that do so much for Callum and nothing for Scarlet? Well level thirty six for Callum who's not learning a ground type move Exidrill. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's a matter of who do we trust the most. I'm actually going to Arceus. Because Arceus has Bubble Beam. I always forget that Arceus has Bubble Beam, and I gotta remember that. Because that's like our only Water-type move that really helps cover Ground-types. Um, grass doesn't help because of the Steel-typing, but Water is super effective. Um, 
So we're going to do a fake out first. I know this is going to do probably absolutely nothing, and there's probably no point. Yeah, that did absolutely nothing, and there was probably no point. But it could have. We could have had a point. Because bubble movement is not stab. It's not crazy. Yeah, I mean. And that's a steel type move, so that's not going to do anything. Oh, that's a multi-hit attack. Of course it is. Luckily, that it didn't hit five times. Well, goodbye, Exadrill. And with Exadrill fainting, 984, 1197 for Callum, who didn't really show out to that battle. Um, okay, come on. I hate, okay. Oh, look. Stuff that Callum can't take out. <laughs> Callum is in trouble. I don't like, I like Callum a lot, but really, like, I probably should not be having Callum in practice. I should just use my super repels. I have them for a reason. Intimidate. Oh look, I've got Insomnia now. I'm just running. We're gonna super repel. Because that's what sounds the best. I know it's kind of like the cheap way to do things. Or really you could say it's the expensive way to do things as well. We got seven of them. Let's just use them. We ah. So, which one is it? I don't even know. That's probably that one. Okay, you got one Pokemon, Electros. Yes. Uh, yes. Level forty-one Electros. And Callum, you're at full health, so I trust you against an Electros. You better not make me break my trust. Faint, that's, th that's doing nothing. That's like five damage. Six damage. I was close. Rock Blast is not doing the work either. But it's doing more work than what Faint's doing, so. Because that stab boosted. Faint's not, if he's going to keep going for Faint, because that's probably all he can do. Because he's got electric type attacks, probably. See, and that's what a, that's a good electric immunity for us, so that's the positive for us there. So there, Electros is gone, level 41. And how much? 3,281, that's a level. Level 37. Are we going to learn a ground move soon? No, we're not learning a ground move. Ugh, just learn a ground move already. Make me happy. Foul play! That's a good dark type attack. But we don't have a dark type, so doesn't really matter right now at least okay hopefully like we've seen a lot of electro type pokemon in this episode so i'm excited that's good for Calum, because electro type pokemon is what i have out oh gosh get Calum out get Calum out of here speaking of we've had a we've had an episode where we have things to get Callum out and things where Callum is great against. But we have Szechuan, and Szechuan needs to handle this. This is what this is what Szechuan's destiny is. It's born to handle these Obama snows. No problem. It's qu it quad it's quad effective. Leech seed. Oh boo hoo. Why'd you go for Leech Seed anyway? Like you had a good Pokemon on the field. I'm going to go with Fusion Flare. I mean, the base stats of Obama Snow is the same attack and defense, or defense and special defense, so just really what do I think can get the job done? Well, we crit, so obviously that got the job done. 491%. Like, I don't get why Szechuan is not getting ex experience, like, at all for that. Big Pearl, okay. Okay, we have to fight you. Honestly, don't know what's where we're going. So I know we, we. I'm guessing we're gonna go down and over, and there's gonna be a stupid item, and then we go around and back. See dot. More stuff that Callum can't fight. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Callum. This is not. Oh wait, no. We have attack order. 
you're a grass type. I am not going to take that risk. Like, I don't know what I was thinking about to take that risk. I mean, what? What were you going to go for? Oh! Oh! You're also part dark. I forgot about that. I didn't think you were part dark. But it doesn't really matter. CDOT's not going to do damage to Staraptor. But I completely forgot about that. Hyper Fang. I mean, you're a CDOT. So I don't expect a CDOT to really live a, two, a Hyper Fang anyway. 115, 408 for Callum. What else do we got? Ampharos. Well, 100% switching on an Ampharos. And this is a Callum worthy battle, I think. Callum can take an Ampharos. It's just electric type. Doesn't change. It's probably got a lot of electric moves. That's good for us. Level 39 Ampharos. Rock Blast. See, Echoed Voice. That's a normal type attack. That's not going to do very much. Oh my! That did. That was a crit. Okay, that's why. Rock Blast. Hit five times. Yes, crit. I'll take it. And the only reason that it did so much is because it crit. So Echo Voice will take another one. Oh, stop! You don't need to crit all the time. Okay, got it. Got him. And 2788. So level 38. See, we're gaining these levels real quickly. Are we going to learn it? Uh, we're not going to learn any moves. This is dumb. Finion. Switching Pokemon because you can't take on a Finion. Braxton. We have, who do we have? Yeah, Braxton's pretty much our only hope. Let's be real. <laughs> I'm like, who do we have that we can take on a Finion with? Braxton. That's going to be that. That's who I trust the most. Oh, Finion. Even better. I was thinking Luminion. Bullet Seed. Finion's going to be dead in like two hits. Yep. Called it. Okay. Not like. And Finion. That's only going to give me a little bit of experience. I don't expect a lot from that. You're so annoying. Like, I know I'm annoying. That's why I'm good. Yeah, okay. So we were right about the pointless... There being a pointless item in here. It's bright powder, so it is pointless. I mean, we don't we don't know if it's pointless until we get to there. Get to that point, but... Oh, boy. We have to choose again. I'm guessing it's this one. Okay, I feel good. It is this one. There's a hidden item. There... Therefore, you already you already know. And a Helix Fossil! Praise the Helix! Let's go! Dude, we got some more fossils that we can mess with in this episode. We gotta go up the stairs. Up these stairs up these stairs repel war off okay let's set up another repel I want to get through this castle in this episode a pokeball that's pointless but whatever and a relic silver again more pointless we find pointless things. I don't really care, but. Oh, we went back to the beginning. Are you kidding? Okay, well, we'll go down this one. Whatever. Don't know where half of these things lead, so. Are you kidding me? We have to go all the way back around. This sucks. We have to go all the way back around. Because why wouldn't we? Okay, we gotta go in here. In here. Oh my gosh. So, and this is why I hate these kind of levels. Because you kind of have to go everywhere. You kind of can't really just go in one spot and be fine. So, okay. Repel's effect wore off. And, well, we don't have anything crazy in this down here. Hariyama. Okay, well, never mind. I take that back. But we're faster than a Hariyama, so that's good. 
At least we're faster than something. We have, I mean, we have to be faster than Hariyama. I was just saying, if we're not faster than Hariyama, then that's not good. Okay, get down here. And then... Bag. Heal up Callum, because Callum is falling a little bit victim to the getting hit club. Um, then we have to put on another repel, I think. It said something about us being... Yeah. Okay, then we have to go up the stairs. Let's try one set. Okay, we have to go up those. Oh my gosh. I looped again. Okay, well obviously we're not going up those the top one then. I cannot believe this. I hate these kind of little, the, these sections. Okay, get down. Can I just walk across them? It's gonna be much faster. Um, I wish I could just teleport where I needed to go. Repels effect wore off. So then I'll walk. So only when you walk on the quicksand will anything happen. So I'll go down here then. There! I think we found a good... Okay. Now let's put the repel back on. Because we're using like all of them in this episode. We're down to three. Double battles! Let's go! We fight for a young king! That's it! Really? It's only singles? I really wanted a double battle. Let's be real. I wanted a double battle. But I'm only going to get singles. But that's fine. No! Too soon! Too soon! Too soon! Stop! That's enough! Too soon! Too soon! This is bad, actually. We don't really have much to handle our own bad... Or our own, like, helper. Um, we have Rock... Well, we have not rock. We have God, the um, only Pokemon that I feel like can handle it. Ha! You you thought you kept the. I mean, I technically I did too. So I should shut up. <laughs> I'm like, ha! You taught stealing. Well, I did too. So, see, we knew it had ancient. Okay, so Stone Edge, Ancient Power, stealing. Probably have something else because we didn't. But it's not going to show us because it doesn't need it. Okay, Probo Pass is down. Luckily, that's down. We're good. Crit, why didn't you get that sooner? It's not... Just because you've had one as a friend your whole entire life does not mean you can be nice to all the other ones. Um, Gyarados, my favorite Pokemon! I mean, that's why it's my mascot. That's why it's a red Gyarados right on the channel banner. Um, what the heck do I do to this thing? You're part flying. We don't have any electric type. We don't have a rock. We do have a rock type, but it's quad weak. And rock just... Yeah, no. Don't use rock types against oh, Gyarados. Because that messes you up. It can learn Stone Edge. Which is like... Eh! I mean, of course... That's in the real game by TM. I'm sure it doesn't learn that naturally. Um... Just so I'm not overthinking it. I'm going to go... So I'm not overthinking it. I'm going to go with Scar. No, I'm not. I'm not overthinking this. I for... I'm stupid. Well, actually, really, there was nothing I could have gone into to prevent the that being a problem. Let's fake it out. Oh, I forgot. Okay, it has sleep talk. Okay, I am not losing a Pokemon to my mascot. I know the power that this thing has. 
So, I, I really want one, honestly. If I get one, it's auto. It's going to be on the squad. You, we all know this. Bubble. <laughs> I don't care about bubble. You're a physical attacker. You don't get. You don't want to have bubble. Shadow Punch isn't doing that much. See, the fact that this Plasma Grunt kept bubble on his Gyarados, that triggers me so much, actually. It really does. There! You have a good move. But you missed. It's Hydro Cannon. But I still wouldn't keep Hydro Cannon on a Gyarados because, I mean, it's it can it does not take hits very well. Antoinette, you're you don't you don't treat Gyarados as nice. I'm gonna report you to the Gyarados Tribune. I won't tolerate this. You cannot get this far. You can't beat my boyfriend. I hate you so much. Well, sorry. Um, uh, I don't like you either, Mrs. Marshall. I had a teacher named Mrs. Marshall, and she was lit. But that's besides the point. Callum against the Skarmory. I mean, Rock is neutral. We'll try it. Oh, this thing is buffing up. Okay, maybe we don't want to... Rock Blast... I mean, this is neutral. What is this going to do? Oh, boy. Wow. Okay, well... With that case, then... Hey, hey Szechuan. It's another thing for you to take out. Because, I mean, I trust Szechuan. Szechuan, I've, I've trusted him since we got him. I mean, we have two of the Johto starters, so... Meteor Mash. Oh, boy. But that, that makes sense. You're a physical Skarmory, so... But we got leftovers, so I love the fact that we have leftovers. That really has helped us out throughout this playthrough. It also helps when you have, um... Eruption, because you gain the, some of that HP that you lost back. So that's nice. Super effective and dead Skarmory. 439 for Session 1. 1552. Callum is level 39. Callum's almost to the point where I can take off that experience share, and I'm excited. Dodrio. Switch. We lost a Mon to a Dodrio already, but in that in losing that Mon, we prepared for it very well with a Rock Blast. So. Dodrio should be pretty easy pickings for Callum. I wish that Callum would learn an actual move, though, um, and not be stuck on Rock Blast being its main attack. It didn't even oak. It didn't even oko. That's nasty. Okay. How do you not oko Dodrio? That's not good, Callum. I know it's one level above you, but still. Dodrio fainted. We gained in 1987. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. We're going to go down this hole, and where do we got? What do we got? Oh, boy. Some talking. Some story. Every time I want to end an episode, <laughs> there's a story. Now, I don't know how many episodes. I'm, I'm not going to have an episode counter of that, but still. Woof, I finally caught up. You two, come here. Come to my side. It looks like everyone's here. It seems like you're working hard to resurrect Reshram, the other Dragon-type Pokemon, aren't you? <laughs> but it appears the lifestone you seek is not here. Well then, congratulations are in order, John. You were chosen by the king. If it's tr you truly desire to keep the world as it is, where Pokemon live alongside people, you must bring the other Dragon-type Pokemon spoken of in the legend and battle with our king. Otherwise, pl the Team Plasma will steal every Pokemon and every person from this world and release them all. Release them, you say? Do you, do the Pokemon who live together with their trainers actually want that? Is the liberation you talk about really just stealing people from their Pokemon like another organization like Team Rocket? What's this? Champion Alder, even through illness, took the Pokemon that had been your partner for many years. You haven't had a serious battle in all the time. Even you, who ordered the Elite Four to protect the Pokemon League and left to wander the Unova region alone. Even a champion like you now wants to protect a world where Pokemon live together. Team Plasma's king will show the people of Unova that he is stronger than a champion who keeps Pokemon bound. And just like the hero who founded Unova, he will be accompanied by the legendary Pokemon. 
he will give this order. Trainers, release your Pokemon. For this, we have prepared a suitable castle for the legendary Zekrom and our king. I won't lose! I'll fight for all the trainers who live in the Pokemon. Or who love their Pokemon. Who live in the Pokemon. Who love their Pokemon. For all Pokemon who believe in their trainers. Our king has no interest in you. He already has determined that victory against you is assured. So you stayed behind just to tell me that? Just to make a fool of me? Of course not. I'm doing this for out of kindness. Yes. Kindness. I am making sure the champion doesn't get hurt for no reason. Granted, the moment someone loses all hope. I really do love to watch that moment. Farewell. Alder! What are you doing now? Hmm. It seems like my only choice is to return to the Pokemon League and battle and... Well, that, but it, it bothers me to do exactly what Geddes wants. More importantly, what should we do about the Light Stone? Alder, why don't you go outside for now? Yes, good idea. It's hard to breathe in here. It's hard to put it into words, but I'll never forgive them this time. What could that guy called N possibly want? Could he be trying to prove that he is right by winning a battle for the two dragons? X transceiver is ringing. Story. John. John. Hello, John. Oh, you picked up. Hey, John. Come to the museum in Nazarene City immediately, right away. Got it? I mean now, because I'm your mother, and now I can tell you what to say and what to do. I can hear Professor Juniper's voice from clear over here. She seems. Seems like something big is happening in Nazarene City. I'll go on ahead. And you have a Flymon, even though you don't have a Mon that can learn Fly on your team in the real game. Not joking when I say that. I'll look around here once more. Don't want to believe what that guess says. You should head to the Nazarene City. Well, we'll go to Nazarene City. Might as well finish up story while we have like 6,000 tons of it. Callum's catching up to the rest of the team. So in the next episode, he, he still will have the um, experience share. But he won't have it after that next episode. Because I trust him. I'm starting to gain his trust. He's starting to gain my trust. Now we need a ground type move. Stat. That's Castellia City. I was close. But, you know, close isn't good enough. Sorry I made you fly like most of the way here. Nasserine's right here. Yeah. Nasserine and Strachion is, Stra is close. Okay. Anyway. We should find a good ground type thing. Even if it costs money. I don't care. I, I don't think this guy had TMs. I think it started with the Castellia. I think that's why I went to Castellia, funny enough. Yeah. Okay. You don't have what I'm looking for. You don't have what I'm looking for. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Heal, 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 heal. Literally the last 10 minutes of every episode has been like um, story. Which is funny. But I like the story in black and white so far. I like the whole truths and ideals idea. Alder told me what's going on. John, have you caught up with some You've gotten caught up in something serious it seems. Is this it? Whoa! Isn't that the stone found in like, the desert resort? Yes, that's right. But this is a really a dragon type Pokemon. Surely, surely, when I investigated Dragon's Battle Tower, I found elements that were dated in the same era as this light stone. I look, I looked into that. Impressive as always. But you know, we're lucky. Because what if Team Plasma, like, noticed that old stone that time? That's a good point. It is clear to me that they were trying to steal the Dragon Skull so they could retrieve the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. If it would, John, take this. 
Wait a moment. John! If you take the Light Stone, that means that you'll be the one to battle N if anything happens to me. Are you okay with this? Yes. I understand. You are determined to take on this duty. Then here it is. Prepare yourself. Be strong. I see. If things don't go as planned, you'll use this Light Stone. You'll protect the true future for us and Pokemon. John, we're counting on you. Please take care of yourself. And we have the Light Stone. The opposite of the Dark Stone and White. John, put the Light Stone as a key item. So, how do we wake the Dragon type Pokemon from the Stone Pen? That's it! We've got them, don't we? <laughs> We've got those two. John, go to Opelucid City. The gym leader of that city uses dragon type Pokemon. The gym leader could know something. I'll go ahead and wait there for you. Until then. I can magically fly there. But you can't because you've never been to Opelucid City before. That's right. Opelucid City's Drayden might know something. Hey, John. Never forget that you always have the Pokemon right by your side. Professor Juniper. I have to go back to the lab and do some research. Oh, wait. Blah, 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 that's what she's saying. I'll see if I can uncover what type of dragon types. Whoa, I'm lost. I'll see how to awaken the dragon types. Okay, I got kind of got what you were saying. But I lost myself. But when don't I lose myself? Let's be real. I lose myself a lot. Okay, anyway. Lenora, don't worry. If we have something for you, we'll come running to find you. Oh, sounds real serious. Um, that's all about I'm out for it. John, you know how to get to Opelousa City. If you leave the Icarus City, if you leave from Icarus City and like cross the to Tobine Bridge, it's on the other side. Um, I'm not great with directions, so if you need more, check your town map, okay? Hey, Lenora, can you get out of my way? Because we have to do like three things. Before we end the episode, because might as well end the episode getting the fossils that we actually deserve and get. So, we're gonna go to Emedia's PC, deposit two Pokemon. It's gonna be Callum and Staraptor, because we're already here. Callum and Scarlet, just for the two other Mons that we get to get now. Um, we know they're not randomized, which is unfortunate, but luckily Lenore's like, wait, you can't go here yet. I'm researching fossils here. Yes, I have a fossil. The helix for a fossil. We got the Omanyte. Ooh, we have an Omanyte, which is pretty much an Omastar. Ammonite's nickname. Gary. What was I thinking? I like thought I had to think about this. It's Gary. Gary from SpongeBob. Gary is a perfect nickname for her. <laughs> Gary. Yes, we also have the cover fossil for Tartuga. Yes. And it's also a male. Um, Trent. Trent the Tartuga. That's, I, like, I'm, I'm just naming things, like, firsthand. Like, what do I think it would be named? What would I name it? Trent. Trent the Tartuga. Now, obviously... I would probably just keep it as Tortuga, but it's a Nuzlocke. You have to get comfortable. You have to name your Pokemon. So, Trent. I'm basic. That's what we've learned in the. That's what we've learned in this LP. That I'm basic as all can be. I'm otherworldly basic. Um. Anyway, we got to deposit those two. Our PC is full of rock type Pokemon. If I'm gonna be real, our PC is full 
of rock type Pokemon. Of at least some form. Like both of these are rock water types. Now don't deposit. We want to withdraw. We want to get back Callum. Look, look at you can't even be wrong. We have one. Oh, we have two Omanites. We caught an Omanite already. And we also named it Gary. <laughs> we named both of them Gary. <laughs> well, unfortunately, this doesn't count as dupes clause. One's static, one's not. But we have two Garys, probably with the same exact moveset too, to be honest. <laughs> there is no difference except for one's relaxed and that one one's relaxed one's bold so one has higher special defense one has higher uh a d d regular defense they both have minus um well i think one's minus speed and one's minus like bold is probably the better nature but that's kind of hilarious to say the least that i have two omnites in here so one two three four five six seven Seven rock type Pokemon in my PC and seven non rock type Pokemon in my PC. Half my PC has some sort of rock typing. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you liked this episode, like this video, obviously. Comment, subscribe, do whatever. If you made it all the way, well, thank you. I can't believe you watched a 46 minute episode. And I mean, I know like 30 minutes was like the in, like what was there, but you know, 46 complete, but. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.